Hey, hey, it's your broads. We're calling our squad. Our squad who loves Broadway. The Broadway Broad Squad. We hella love musicals and we review them all day. It's Jen and Sarah. Your fairy god broads. Hey. Places. Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Broadway Broads. If you're new here, welcome to the Broadway Broad Squad. We're live here in New York City and we're still doing reviews for y'all. <laughs> yes, we are. This one is for Paradise Square, playing at the Ethel Barrymore Theater. Uh, this is not new, right? Nope, not a new theater for us, um, and not new seats for us either. We actually sat in these same seats. Well, actually, no, we didn't. We sat a little bit closer because they didn't have the orchestra True. Um, for band's visit. So that was our first time at that theater. Um, we weren't doing reviews back then. However, we are going to give you our seat numbers. Um, so we did sit in orchestra row B, seat 114 and 115, and we saw at 2 p.m. on a Saturday. So a little background for you guys, um, for your broads and this show. We actually saw um, a production of Paradise Square back in 2018 at the world Berkeley. Premiere. Yeah, the world premiere mm -hmm. um, at Berkeley Rep. Uh, so we knew that it was gonna it was gonna be on its way to Broadway, right? Yeah, we even said we said with a few changes, we see that this has Broadway potential. That's what yeah. we said back in 2018. And even back in 2018, we spoke specifically about a song that needed to be cut, and ultimately that character was completely cut out of the show. Good job, Paradise Square. So your broads <laughs> called it back then. Basically, what it was was a, the character Janie Foster, who was the wife of Milton Moore, which that was sort of the, his fake, fake name, name that he gave to Nellie. Mm -hmm. um, and she had a song back in the 2018 production. Mm -hmm. And they cut her completely out of the show, and they added Frederick Tiggins. Um, and I think that was a great change. Very, very good choice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so do you want to give a synopsis? Yeah, absolutely. Of the, yeah, so let's do a synopsis. So Paradise Square is a fiction, fictionalized historical take on the Five Points area of Manhattan and the social forces leading up to the violent draft riots of 1863, where what began as immigrant protests against the, against the Civil War draft turned into violence against the black population of the city. So getting into the Ethel Barrymore, there were no vaccination checks. Of course, masks are still required. Mm -hmm. Um, and we headed to merch like we do. We did, and your girl didn't get a lapel pin. They had beautiful merch. I'm yeah. gonna throw in some merch here so, just so you can see it. Um, but really, they covered all of it. I mean, they had some beautiful, they had lines from the show on t-shirts and on tote bags. They had magnets, they had everything, but they didn't have my lapel pin. Yeah. So I did pick up a magnet for Allie, but unfortunately I left empty handed. So yeah, you bummed out. About yeah, that. I was. I was. Um, so we headed to our amazing seats that were very comfortable. They were probably so far the best seats we've sat in in all of our shows. Not only for seat comfort, but also leg comfort. Mm -hmm. And again, I am a tall ass broad, and I had plenty yeah. of room. I agree. So this that, was the that most was comfortable. The most comfortable, like. Just the width of the seats, the leg room, mm -hmm. um, we both Everything. were, were, yeah. were quite happy yep. with that. And what was great is when we were in Berkeley Rep, we were in the front row, but it was the front row in front of the orchestra, right? But this one, because the front row, we were further back, so it, we even, it felt like we, we were, even though the front row, we still sat far enough back where everything mm -hmm. was, we could see everything. We didn't have to put our head up. Right. So right. loved that. Yeah. We had the orchestra was exposed. exposed. So that's why exactly. row B was the front right, row, right? right? They had yeah. to take some rows out. Which love, walk, love peeping into the orchestra. Oh, what a treat. Such a I treat. I love that. Such a treat. Um, so when we head in, we um, have the map of Manhattan and the five points area was lit up. Yeah. Um, and... I don't know. Did you remember that? No. When we, even when we were sitting there getting ready to take our, you know, the, the famous playbill photo that you must take, right? right. <laughs> I remember like looking and I said, Sarah, do you remember the five points being lit up? And no. she said, no. And then did you hear the couple behind us? They're like, oh yeah, that is the, like, and then they were like counting them out, yep. you know? And I was like, okay, so we're not the only ones I think, that they, you know, but it was very cool. Like the yeah. whole Manhattan was, was up there, but then that one section was 
glowing, like mm -hmm. actually glowing. And mm -hmm. I loved that. I yep. love that. If we missed it in Berkeley, sorry, but yeah, I, I don't. I don't think we did. I don't I, think, I think it was. I think that. that's a Broadway magic right that's, there. That's the broad, Broadway yeah. upgrade there. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so let's dive into this. So let's dive in. the set, the set, the set. It was it was amazing in Berkeley. I remember being very impressed. With very it. impressed. But in always Berkeley. knowing that once it gets to Broadway, sort of the upgrade that it gets. Oh, and did we get an upgrade? Uh, 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 uh. I mean, the entire the entire theater behind the entire stage was exposed. The entire mm -hmm. stage, and to see all of that industrial look and yep. feel to it, we wow. had about what four levels. Right, that went all the way up. I, I want to say it, it was four th levels. Three or four, yeah, three we or had four. Had a turntable that moved pieces. Walls coming in and out. It was creating the inside and outside of Paradise mm -hmm. Square, which was Nelly's mm -hmm. saloon. Um, it was pretty remarkable. Yeah, even yeah. the way they would enter, like the cast members would enter the rotating bar through one area and then sing, and then it would be turned around and they'd exit through the other. Or did you see cast members leaving one side to go to the other? They would walk up onto the mm -hmm. moving platform into the. It was. Yeah, and you talked about actually, I, I mean, our, the show we saw was technically flawless, but you talked about reading that they have had yeah, some technical I've, difficulties. I've seen not a, like in several different theater groups saying the show was great, but there was a lot of technical, you know, issues. We had a flawless performance. There was no, no technical issues whatsoever. Another big addition to, from the difference from the Berkeley set is a lot of like the audio visual. There were screens that were used. Yes. Um, in the opening of the show. When Nelly comes out yeah. to tell you the, about where she lives it starts off with she said this is this is my my town um and it shows screen shots or it shows ex um, video of new york of manhattan now you can even see the city street bikes like in that and then the photos change to you know the 70s and then the 50s mm -hmm. and then the 40s and then it goes further it takes down us back. yeah really really cool so i love the way they did that plus then they used them again during like the when they were talking about the war scenes they were they had like uh, shots from, you know, more, more shots in the background too. And that was really cool to see yeah. all of that. Let's talk a little bit about the costumes. <laughs> <laughs> and you say this all the time, everyone looks good in a bustle every yeah. and man, those dresses mm -hmm. were incredible specifically. And I remember seeing this in Berkeley, the black dress that Nellie wears at the end. Mm -hmm. Um, I still to this day love it. It's been upgraded, but it is, it has the poofy sleeves and then the tailored it's, yeah. Fantastic. Um, also, the wigs. I was obsessed yes. with Annie's wig. I I would wear Annie's wig every day of my life if I could. It had the braid over here. It had the braid over here and then into the back. And I was there for it. It was hard for me to... It was like another character. Yeah, the costumes. I agree. They, they were very, very well, very well done. All of them. The, the cast. Every, everybody's. Yeah. You know, not just the leads. And this everyone. is this is the large cast. Let's talk about that We're hitting like 40-ish. 40 and we even said in Berkeley, we even said it was, it was almost, almost too, big. too big. But here, it fit. It fit. And you know, and maybe that's just it. This, you know, obviously Berkeley Rep is smaller than the Ethel Barrymore. Right. Um, but yeah, the, we, we, it was crowded in Berkeley. We actually speak to that in the review, mm -hmm. um, but you're right. It felt right yeah, this time. It did. It did. It did. Let's get into some standout performances. Okay. <laughs> right? Um, we're just, we have to start out with ne the Nellie O'Brien, played by Jaquina Kalukongo. Um, I'm going to say it. I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it. I, I think the Tony's going to go to Miss Jaquina. Patty! I know. Well, no, they're not in the same category. Oh, 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 they're not in the same right, category. That's right. Lucky for you. <laughs> but right? still, I know. That's right? right. That's another review. Um, that's a whole different video. Whoa. Um, um, but right, I'm going right. to say it. Okay. I think she's going to take the tone. Okay. Now that, you, now that I remember that, yes, I, I agree. Yeah. First, for one... If not for everything, one specific part, but we'll get into that in a minute. But her, you want to talk about her chemistry with okay, uh, so Willie, who's played by Matt Bogart. Who, by the way, I do not remember him. He from. was not in the Burger <laughs> production. <laughs> or else we would have remembered him, right? But he was not. <laughs> so, so not just his chemistry with her chemistry with her husband, but also with her sister-in-law, with with um, every single bar member that comes Patreon, through, yeah, yeah. you know that there is respect. Even our villain, you know that he knows you don't mess with this woman too. Like she embodies the character. She, her, she's not, and she's a triple threat. She's not just the power voice. 
or the fantastic acting, but this woman can dance too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So she got it all. Yeah. Um, and let's just talk about this. I, this is the first time I've ever personally experienced this, but there was a standing ovation in the middle of the show. Yeah. It was for burn. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. For, uh, yeah. Let it burn. Let it burn. Yeah. And I've heard that before that somebody, other people, in fact, one of our squad members said that they also have never seen that. And to see that that is happening, I mean, and I get it. I leapt to my feet. Like the I, woman I was, was, like, she not only could sing that song, and, and those, some of those notes were uh, great, yeah. like, haunting, but then she's crying through it all and giving up, like, acting her ass off yeah, was, as well. Quite a before. That's like, do that. and I, I wanted to lean over and be like, and that was her Tony accepted speech right there. Like, that, I mean, like, it was incredible. It's sort of one of those performances that I feel like, We'll be talking about as as Broadway theater goers yeah. for you know we'll be like we saw yeah. Jaquina's Tony Award winning performance and boy you know yeah. I, I, I it is one of those yes yeah yeah, yeah. Um, okay let's talk a little bit about Annie Lewis played by <gasps> Chilina Kennedy she is definitely the audience favorite <laughs> yes oh audience loves her De for, we love rightfully her too. so rightfully so I will say yeah. the girl comes out with a gun like a little pistol that's like put into her dress. And then in Act Two, she's pregnant, and she still got the pistol. Like nine months pregnant, and she still got the pistol, and that is—I mean, she is a pistol. Yeah. Like that's absolutely, perfect. Yeah. absolutely, yeah. just and funny. Oh, her comedic time. She, yeah, she, she had me yeah. cracking up. So and just some of the lines that she would deliver. <laughs> You just, just don't mess with Annie. You just don't mess with her. Don't Do mess with Annie. Mess Annie with got Annie. her gun. <laughs> Annie got her gun. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Now we have okay. to talk about... Our boys from the Bay Area. Yeah. That we saw they're both there. Yeah. So we we have the honor of seeing AJ uh, Shively, or yes, Shively, play mm -hmm. Owen, and Sidney DuPont as Washington Henry, both in Berkeley Rap, mm -hmm. and then to get to see them on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And I remember us even then being completely in awe mm -hmm. of both mm -hmm. of them and to see them again. And they danced their asses off too as well. And seeing just... Incredible. I mean, really both both Tony nominated mm -hmm. and both well-deserving. That's a hard, both Some in the same those category. Some high kicks that Owen has given us too. AJ, Owen, I mean, what the hell? Yeah. I mean, God. Yeah. And they've been with the show for a long, a long time. time. And, and I mean, yeah. they just, their performances are thrilling. Yeah. So it, I I am not looking forward to that, that particular, mm -hmm. to see, you know, mm -hmm. that category. That yeah. 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 Ooh, yeah. 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 Um, wow. All right. Okay. So some standout, standout moments. moments. So the set reveal is for sure the, the biggest thing because we both, again, we've seen it already and we still were like, wow. Well, we knew that this, the, what this, the concept of the set was mm -hmm. and everything, but when it was revealed to us, we yeah. still, there was an awe, awe and amazement yeah, for us, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Um, so another one with the dance battles. I mean, the full entire, all, almost 40 of them on stage, the fact that they can use that stage and be dancing together it was beautiful to see. Yeah, I mean, we just... Yes, the, the the dancing was absolutely amazing. But we do have to talk a little bit about that. So we talked about this in the review for the 2018 mm -hmm. world premiere. There are perhaps a few too many. Um, there seems to be some reprises of dances. And I don't know. Yeah, it did, but, it's like we, we got it the first time. We didn't need it as, another time. Which I'm, I'm, we're never someone to say we don't want to see as much dancing. But it almost felt like... We'd already done that before. Yeah. And even even the songs, there's three reprises. Mm -hmm. Do we need them all? Do we need, do, does it need, does it need to help move the story? I don't think so. I think it still could have been cut. This could be a two hour, 20 minute show. Yeah, and yeah. It felt like a two hour, 40 minute show. Yeah, the dancing, like, though phenomenal. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. It just felt maybe like there was a little, uh, one, too, one too many, um, you know, battles or yeah. breaks or reprises. But when you know? they were, they were still the standout moments of yeah. the show. The yeah. And, numbers. Yeah. And that's one, I mean, that's the, like, I probably for us, the one disappointment that sort of carried through from Berkeley to, to mm -hmm. Broadway. But other than that, I mean, really great, really great. Yeah. Great job. Um, yeah. Standout and that moment, another one was yeah. the standing ovation. I mean, the fact that like a two, a Saturday afternoon matinee and everyone's leaping up in the after, I mean, you can't help, but, not, and we didn't even start it, y'all. We didn't no. start it. Like, you know, we were both still crying. To, and then looked around like, oh, okay, everybody's standing up. You know, but like, we were still crying. Yeah, like, that's, what I, that's what I'm saying about like, remembering this performance for years mm -hmm. to come. Like, mm -hmm. you know, that doesn't happen. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, I, yeah. 
Yeah, in fact, I think you even said when we were scripting, the last time we saw a middle of the show standing O was the final performance of Hamilton in Chicago. And rightfully so. It was it's the been final performance. Seated there yeah. for three something years. So that made sense that that would, that would happen. But this is like a Saturday afternoon matinee and you're getting a standing ovation in the middle of the show. Yeah. So, so that, wow. Um, and then also the final line of the show. Which, which we're not going to say it. No, no, no. Because I think you, yeah, you need, to, you need you to see it. But But it really just speaks to how, you know, Yes, we're watching something that took place in the past, but really reckoning with the fact that not much has changed, right? Um, and that's something to sit with. You know, I think theater should do that. Yeah, yeah. You know? You don't always, I mean, you always need to leave feeling like your soul was fed, which it was, mm -hmm. but you don't need to leave feeling like it was tied up in a bow. Yeah, right? and I, and, and I, you know, do I like to come out of a show hopping and skipping and, you know? yeah. Yes, but I also love, I love when I come out and I, my brain is thinking and, right. and, and, you know, so that final line of the show hit me and I, there was some, there was some, you know, audible responses from the audience with it as well. And, and I took it to heart and it's very, very true. Yeah. You know, the, the what we're dealing with in this show is very much happening today. Um, you know, so that was a big standout for me. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I agree. Time for favorite song of the show. What's yours? I had two. I'm going to have two. I'm going to use exercise my right to pick two. Yes. Okay. Well, actually, I had more than two, but but these are my two top two. So um, you have had my heart mm -hmm. and gentle Annie. I couldn't pick. I couldn't pick. I want my two. Go ahead. You? Let it burn. I know. I know. Man. <laughs> Talk about an 11 o'clock number. Woo! Like, we're going to keep it real with you. We couldn't even record this uh, review the same day because both of us, like, we, we needed a minute. Meant, we mentally needed to, yeah. to think through this. Like, yeah. So, um, so repeat, attend, or not. So I'm, I'm actually going to say no, but that does not mean that I wouldn't. Yeah. It, so just to, you know, just to re revisit this, repeat, attend for us means that every time we come to New York, it's something we would have to see, right? Doesn't mean that we wouldn't see it again. It's or that just we not, don't recommend. Or you that see we it. don't yeah. exactly. It's just not something that we're like going to fight to get back to see, right? Mm -hmm. So for this one, no. Saw it in Berkeley, saw it here, saw what I feel, what we both feel is gonna be the Tony um, performance, you know, winner. For and the actress, yeah. yeah. for the actress, so I I'm gonna leave it with that. But I do think you should go, yeah. what about you? Uh, I'm gonna say the same, for the same reasons. Um, it's a no, saw it in Berkeley, got to see sort of the growth, and I knew it was gonna end up on Broadway with some changes, and it did, and got yeah. to see that, um, so. I don't so, so for those who again. did vote when we said help us pick a show, we did ask for people to let us know should we should, should we see Paradise Square? Should we see for the for the for Colored Girls? We we got a lot of hits for both of those. We even got for Girl from North Country, but this one we really did feel because we saw it in Berkeley, we should go back and see it yeah. again as well. And I'm so glad we did. Yes. I really am. Yep. Yeah. It's giveaway time. If you want to enter the giveaway, please be sure to read all the rules in the description box below. And we'll be giving away the playbill. Yay! Okay. So in order to win this beautiful playbill, you have to fill in the blank. My Tony prediction for best musical is... And be sure to hang on to the end because your broads did get some curtain call footage. Yeah, we did. Thank you so much for joining us, squad. Yep. And we'll see you on the other side. Curtain. curtain.
it's your broads. We're calling our squad. Our squad who loves Broadway. The Broadway Broad Squad. We hella love musicals and we review them all day. It's Jen and Sarah. Your fairy god broads. Hey.